let's say we have this uh, flower image and we want to put it more in the center. So we have to stretch the background on the right side and the top. First thing you need to do is go over here on the left side and get the crop tool. With the crop tool uh, selected, then you will stretch the background until you get the composition you want. In this case, we will go with this and click this check mark to accept the changes. Now we need to stretch the background. To stretch the background, go to the marquee tool over here, rectangular marquee tool, and select the part of the background that does not have the flower, something like that, and then do Command T to transform this selection, and you can just drag it and stretch it to cover that part on the top, and then click this check mark to commit to your changes. Now we have to do the same thing on the right side. So with my marquee tool selected, I will go and select the right part. And I went and selected some of the flowers. So I can just move this a little bit. Oops. Let me just do this again. Just like that. Make sure you do not get the flower. And then Command T to transform it and drag it to the right. And just like that, I will commit the changes. Command D to deselect and we change, completely change the composition and now the flower is smack in the middle. Now this was a really easy case scenario. Let's try different methods and see how else can we change the background. I will work with this image and first thing I'd like to do is uncheck this uh, lock over here so the layer is unlocked and we can modify it. And then the same as before, I will go to the crop tool and let's say we want to make this like a landscape orientation. So I'm going to stretch it quite a bit, something like that. And now we have these white uh, marks over here and we need to fill it and stretch that background. But this time we will do it differently. First of all, accept the changes, click on the check mark and then go over here on the top to edit and content aware scale. Click on that and now we can drag the sides and stretch the background. If you hold down option, it does it equally from left and right side. And just like that, accept the changes. And now we change our image from a portrait orientation to a landscape orientation. Now note that the background was quite simple and repetitive. So if you have a busy background, this might not work. Now, sometimes doing by this technique, you might run into a little issue and I will show you over here with this image. Let's try the same technique here. Let's unclick this to unlock the background layer. With the crop tool selected, let's make it into a landscape orientation, something like that and accept the changes. And now let's see if we go back to edit content aware scale. Watch what happens if I try to stretch it. I'm going to hold down option again while I stretch. You see our person is getting stretched and we do not want that. That is not going to look right. It's looking really terrible, really. So I'm going to not accept these changes. I am not going to do the crop aware tool right now. So what I am going to do is I will go and take this lasso tool onto the left over here, lasso tool. And I am going to select my person, something like that, just loosely around it. And then I will go onto the channels. Your channels are right next to the layer panel over here. So click on channels and then click on this layer mask. We're gonna create a channel with the layer mask. You see it created over here, it's called alpha one. Now, Command D to deselect because we don't need to have that person selected. We will go back to layers. And this time, let's go back now to edit content aware scale. And you see this box over here where it shows this little person and it says protect. And right now it says none. So we want to click on this down arrow and choose alpha one. If you remember our channel over here, it says alpha one, the mask we made. So onto this panel, we want to choose alpha one. And now Photoshop, it will protect that mask that we made around the person. And now if we hold down option and stretch the sides, the person should not stretch just like that. And that is a way, way better result. 
it looked like it stretched some of the knee over here so my mask that means it was not um, I needed to give it a little bit more background let's try this again command zero I will go into the channels I will delete this alpha mask and let's try again uh, with my lasso tool let's leave a little bit more room around the person because we oops you see I went too close to the knee again I am going to do this again and it's okay if you try it a few times as long as you get the result you want so back into the channels I will click the mask and that's how I have my alpha one command D to deselect go back into the layers and now let's try it again edit content aware scale and protect alpha one and now holding out option we are stretching it and the knee it's not stretching anymore so now we are looking good except the changes and just like that we modified this image now let's see a different way of extending the background um, I have one more example over here is this cool cat walking in the grass and I will unlock the background and then I will go to the crop tool just like before and stretch it let's say we want a more of a square you know look for this one we'll go something like that and then I this time here is what I am going to do before I accept my changes for the crop just click on this content aware and that will fill with content aware fill those sides so now when I accept it Photoshop will you know look around the image and find the same tones and stuff and do a pretty pretty good content aware fill we do have some problem over here with the grass and it's a little bit repetitive so what do you want to do in this case I will make a new layer and then with my clone stamp tool make sure the sample current and below it's selected and this uh, with with this um, clone stamp tool I will take a sample from that side and I will fix them in here. I will take a sample from here and kind of paint. Make sure you pick from different sides of your image. So, you know, it's not too repetitive. So you just, you know, keep taking samples from somewhere. Right here, it looks like it's a little bit repetitive. So I'll take a sample from here, maybe add in here. And that is just gonna make it look more natural that you will not know that we stretched the background. And like I said before, it's good to know all the three methods on how to stretch the background because one method might work for one image and not work for another. So as long as you know how to do all of this, then you should have no problem and can, you know, fix your composition or stretch the background at any image you have. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.